All right, thanks for clicking on the video. This is Gull Payne, and this is going to be a quick video response, even though he didn't ask for a video response, uh, to Kali Gamer. Um, and he's got a lot of uh, a lot of his videos are like the the introductions to games, attract mode or something. So I don't know, but I'm um, just like the intros to games. So I've um, been watching a few of his videos, and I've just gone through like my top five um, sort of like video game intros. So let's have a look. Okay, so this is the the video response that nobody asked for. Um, the top five. Um, uh, video, video game intros uh, that I can remember. So there's a lot of video, very good video game intros and um, Kali Gamer uh, just sort of like uh, his videos about uh, intros um, have just got me thinking about them. So we have number five which I think is a very influential, possibly the most influential um, like video game intro I've ever seen um, is from Double Dragon 1. So it's very simple. All it has is like Marion standing there and then it's such a like, I mean, this must have been shocking for people back in the day. It's like a guy goes up, punches her in the stomach, puts her over his shoulder and kidnaps her. And then the two boys come out of the gate thing with the car. They come out of it and they're just going to beat the hell out of everyone. Um, so Double Dragon 1, that bit with Marion, that is like, that's like, oh my God. You know, like someone gets punched in the stomach, put over the shoulder and taken away. It's like, you really want to beat the hell out of everyone to get, um, to make sure she's okay. So Double Dragon 1. <laughs> interesting uh, introduction to that one there and then the number f at number four in no particular order um, is the Resident Evil 1 intro so the Resident Evil 1 intro what a fantastic intro I mean like I think um, I, I looked at a video on YouTube the other day and it was like the um, the actors from the Resident Evil 1 introduction like came back together and watched it and they were like going through like all the stories about like you know how it was really cold when they were making it and a lot of the shots they did were like accidental stuff and you know they did one shot and it's very interesting how they actually made it but it's such a it's such a funny intro it's such a B-movie iconic intro so I don't know if the developers were like you know let's make a serious introduction or if they were like let's just take the piss and just just like and then with the fire coming in the background and it says their name oh it's so good it's just so oh so class uh, and then number three then is um the broken sword intro so the well i suppose you could call it like a trailer for broken sword it's like um on because i had i got broken sword 2 on the playstation 1 before i played broken sword 1 so i had broken sword 2 and then on broken sword 2 there was a trailer for broken sword 1 so it was like the introduction to the game trailer because it's at the i think it's in broken sword 1 as well like the introduction um, bit, it's awesome. It's got like a guy talking, he's got like a really good voice from the makers of the highly acclaimed Lord the Temptress and Beneath the Steel Sky, uh, that one. And it shows you the game, and I remember looking at it going, oh, and it showed all the cutscenes um, from Broken Sword and all of like the fun bits. And I was like, I couldn't wait to play Broken Sword 1 after, um, uh, after seeing like the, the introduction to it or the, the trailer introduction, tra trailer slash introduction. Um, yeah, awesome, Broken Sword, just class. And then uh, number two then is um, Yakuza 4. So this introduction is like, this is when you press start and then um, it comes on before the first gameplay part. Um, I think it's if you just leave the game as well. Sometimes the intros, is like if you leave the game and don't press start, it plays the introduction or it plays the trailer or it plays the, the intro movie, whatever. Um, you know, at the start of the game, I don't know. Um, but Yakuza 4's one is awesome because, like you said, you have the four characters. And um, I remember before when I, before I played Yakuza 4, I was looking at the, 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 the intro and I was like, oh my god, this looks amazing. And, and then when you go back and look at the intro after you finish the game, then you realize what all the bits were at the start of it. So it's class. And the music playing it is, is awesome as well. Like So Yakuza 4, really good intro. And then number one then, or the best intro, or the one that is kind of like the most iconic intro to me, um, is the Soul Blade intro or the Soul Edge. I think it's called Soul Edge in Japan, Soul Blade here, or maybe Soul Edge in America. But it's got like that song, um, To Shine, diddle in, and it's got like a really cool kind of Japanese uh, music. And uh, the, the cinema, the movie is awesome as well, like it's really good. So Soul Blade is such an, it's such an awesome like intro to a game, I think, anyway. Uh, so thanks to uh, Kayla Gamer for not asking for this and probably not even commenting. And nobody's going to comment on this, but I don't care because, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a video to make and I do like making videos. Uh, so thanks um, very much for uh, watching. And if you've got um, any introductions you think are very good, uh, put them in the comment section below or else... Make a video yourself uh, on this topic and do a VR to Kaylight Gamer and say that he didn't ask for it, but he's getting it anyway. Uh, so thanks very much um, for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Adios, thanks for watching.